from all over our region, this is Kaleidoscope. For years, capturing the good news, interesting places, and remarkable people doing their best. This is Kaleidoscope, presented by the Pennsylvania Great Outdoors Visitors Bureau. Hello, and welcome to Kaleidoscope. I'm Sarah Cameron. Coming up, artists use their talent to educate you on the importance and impact of water on our environment. It's tiny and tedious, takes hours of time and money, but for a group of sisters, their miniature houses are truly a sight to see. Plus, step inside the West Creek Wetlands Learning Center for a unique experience and how it connects to the Upstream Art Project. But first, when water goes down the drain, we all know where that ends up. But what about storm drains on city streets and roads? Well, the Upstream Art Project in Elk County answers that question and raises awareness of the environmental impacts that water quality plays a part in. This project involved the Conservation District along with many local artists as they share their talents with the community. So basically, um, we received a grant from ECOTA, which is Elk County Council on the Arts, and the goal of the project was to raise awareness about stormwater. Um, so essentially, we kind of reached out to the local townships and cities um, all throughout Elk County, and we're like, hey, would you guys like these murals placed along some of your storm drains to kind of help raise awareness about where this water goes? We contacted some local artists, Michaela Poland and Liz Dippold, and essentially we just reached out to them and asked them if they'd be interested in painting these murals for us. Both of them were really excited about the project, and we got some different kind of perspectives from the two of them. PA Made is a clothing and arts company that sells um, clothing, stickers. Um, I'm also a wildlife artist. Um, that's all inspired by the outdoors, nature, and who we are as Pennsylvanians. And I just opened my brick and mortar store May of 2022. And along with all of my artwork, I have other artists work in there also, from laser engraved wood to handmade soaps to pottery, all inspired by the same things I'm inspired by. I received an email from Stephanie, the watershed technician that was working at the conservation district at the time. She had bought in some paintings from me before. She knew that I was an artist in the area. And she approached me with this project about upstream art and explained that we would be uh, doing murals by storm drains that would educate the public that our storm water goes directly into our water systems. And I'm really passionate about the outdoors. I was originally born in Southern California in the desert and when I moved here to Pennsylvania I fell in love with the outdoors. I fell in love with how beautiful our state is. So it really felt like a project that I wanted to do. They were both super excited and I think it's just kind of something that is kind of near and dear to both of them. Um, they both grew up around here and kind of are very interested in the outdoors. So I think them providing us with the opportunity to kind of show people like and raise environmental awareness was a really good way um, for them to be involved. I did two murals in 2020 and one in 2021. The project went that Stephanie reached out to me and then discussed kind of things where they would be placed. We, I went and looked at where they would play, be placed and then I did some sketches and gave that to Stephanie and they had to do like a city approval, which was kind of an interesting process. And then they went and bought all the supplies for me, the paints, I had to give her a list of the paints that I needed. And then I showed up the day of, sketched with some chalk and then get, got started painting. But it took about two, three days depending on the size of the project and the, the different elements that were in it. I can tell you I was very sore after the first day of, of doing my mural here in St. Mary's. I invested in some knee pads because it is a lot of kneeling and bending and squatting and there's some yoga poses that are kind of involved in that process. So it was a, a little bit of a learning curve, definitely. It was really exciting to just see the murals come together, see the different aspects in the different communities, kind of the roles that they played. Each is unique to the area that it's in. So for example, the one at the Boys and Girls Club was related kind of a little more kid friendly where some of our other ones were, you know, a little more realistic paintings and adult kind of oriented depending on their placement in, the, in their communities. So the Boys and Girls Club of St. Mary's has been providing a safe place to go after school since 1923 in the St. Mary's community. We right now focus on education, recreation, career development, leadership development, the arts. Last year we averaged 77 kids after school every day and then this year we're on track. It's looking more like we're going to average closer to 100 a day so just the amount of kids that come here every day and are able to educa get educated on El County Conservation District and the environment, then I, I think that's extremely important. Whenever the mural was first put up, 
they actually came uh, and did a class for us and you know they taught the kids how to scan the artwork and showed them how it was and did a little presentation for them. During the initial painting process, because we're in such public spaces, we had a lot of foot traffic that were walking by. One of the staff members from the Conservation District was usually there, one or two. So while I was painting, they could answer questions from the public. And it kind of was interesting because it served both as a, a good way to get the project rolling and an educational opportunity. Tell them why keeping our waters clean is important, how watershed works, and share some horror stories about what people have done and how it's affected water ecosystems. But I think it's a really important project as far as helping people be aware of the fact that most of the stormwater that it, you know you see running down the city streets goes directly to the nearby streams and rivers. So it's not going to a treatment plant, it's not going getting treated. So everything that goes down that drain from the oil drippings from your car to the cigarette butts that someone dropped on the street corner, those wrappers that get washed down the drain are going straight into our streams and rivers. Our fish and boat officer, you know, has called us and you know has shared stories with us. And one of them was that he received a call saying that the stream was running red, which is obviously concerning. And after some investigation, sure enough, the stream was running red and you know he was trying to figure out where this was coming from and it turned out that someone had painted their shed um, red and then they were rinsing out all of the paint that they didn't need and all of their brushes and things in the storm drain. So that's just one example of people not being aware that that doesn't go to a treatment plant like the water coming from your house does, your gray water would if you're connected to city water. It doesn't get reprocessed, it just goes straight into the storm drains and streams and rivers. Obviously paints are toxic. Those are things that should be you know recycled or reused as best you can. They're not something you just want to you know bury in your yard or dump in a street or you know just toss out. There's hazardous waste cleanups that are provided for free by the Community Recycling Center. There are other places that you can take them and dispose of them that aren't the storm drain. So I mean the easy way out is never the easy way and it's never the good way. So you know just to dispose of things like that properly is really what you want to be aiming for. The other day my wife and I were on a walk and we were actually coincidentally walking um, by the club and this guy was walking the other way and just noticed it that day right in front of me, knew I worked here, commented like, that is so cool. Uh, and then I showed him how to use the scanner and um, you know, that he just got real excited, thought that was the coolest thing. And then the kids, yeah, they love it. I mean, uh, you, you do notice them, it's funny. Uh, they'll be like walking uh, with their parents, leaving here or coming here or whatever. Um, and then they'll be like approaching that, they'll get their cell phone out, show their parents. Uh, so it is cool to see the excitement. It's caught a lot of attention, which was the point, is to educate the public about keeping our storm waters clean um, and again, keeping Pennsylvania beautiful. I love it. It's extremely important to educate on how we can, you know, preserve this for the next hundred years and not let this go to waste, this wonderful land and outdoors that we have around this region. In the future, we would love to, you know, have more throughout the county and maybe potentially get some different artists involved as well. And I just think that it's a really great outreach in a unique way that people are excited about.